Hello everyone, this is Eric with VBString.com and today we're going to talk about how to, and I'm going to show you how to create this VBA message box. So on the screen here on the website you're going to see VBAString.com and you're going to see all this cool stuff. I'm going to show you this here in the, uh, within the asterisk, how to create that. It's a relatively easy, easy process, so uh, I'm sure you can do that and implement it today. Great. Now I'm going to go over here to Excel, and I'm going to open up the VB Editor. Okay, so I'm pressing Alternate F11, and that's a shortcut to get to the VB Editor. All right. <clears throat> Now we're in the VB editor and I'm going this is the uh, one Excel project uh, just uh, default by default it, it should say the project name at the top left hand corner of your screen mine just says book one I didn't give it a name yet and so here I have all my worksheets in my workbook that's a uh, sheet one sheet two sheet three and if I want to assign a procedure or individual modules to each of these sheets I can do so or if I can assign a workbook level procedure I can go ahead and do so I want to create as just a plain macro that's going to be public and it's just a public module so I go ahead and uh, I want all worksheet that this is a uh, the procedure the module that we create rather it's going to be accessible by all these sheets sheet one sheet two sheet three and by the whole entire workbook so i don't want it to be individual to to, to each any one of these street sheets so i want it to be uh, accessible to every sheet and to be easily organized so i go ahead and i, I click right click on the screen choose insert and module for a variety of things and so here my module one and the this will there'll be various sub procedures inside of this module okay now so i created a module one and uh this module i'm just gonna leave it off module one right now we're gonna create a simple message box so i go up here and go ahead and start uh, typing so I'm going to create a, a procedure first of all and if you go to the VBA procedures area you would see a page that describes the scope of the uh, scope of different objects so uh, sub and by default everything's a public procedure so I can I can actually do this just plain sub or I could do a public public sub and then I'm going to do a new message sometimes you want to make users aware of whatever whatever they did was right or wrong <clears throat> now I'm going to allocate a certain amount of memory for my message so I'm going to uh, dim str message as string uh, dim I'm dimensioning something I'm dimensioning this variable again it's like algebra you're this one doesn't have a value yet but we're going to give it a value str meaning that it's a string it's just help me know if I have a lot of a lot of code I want to go ahead and uh, remember that that was a string it holds a uh, text value of about 255 characters a message MSG is just uh, you can call it whatever you want to call it it's just short and simple and uh, MSG message as string so I can dimension it and until the sense comes up and I could do all these things but a lot of them I don't use uh, but for for our sake we're just gonna use the simplest one string and that's pretty much easiest to, to use str message and now we have to make it equal to something so str message equals uh, press enter 
enter to to continue. <clears throat> really, it could you could have it say anything? Really, uh, you probably could use your imagination to figure out what you wanted to say. And then uh, message box. The message box is MSG BOX. That's really where the best spot is. And you can see IntelliSense says, okay, with a prompt, uh, what I want this thing to say, uh, what what I want, what type of a box, the title of the box, the uh, help file, if they have the help file, contacts, as a VBA, VB message box result. Really, you don't need to, uh, you don't need to worry about any of this other stuff, but uh, just kind of a basic message box We have the prompt and I'm going to press tab and that's where I got to the prompt area or I can press my arrow key and good get to the prompt and uh, You'll see that prompt get highlighted here So I have message box as to your message Okay, and then I go ahead and press F5 to and I see press enter to continue and that's the simple message box uh, if I want to make this get rid of this Microsoft Excel that's kind of the default box it's called the title area and I go ahead and choose um, let's see if I, if I go ahead and want to make it a different title I can go ahead and see this well I don't want to deal with all this right now we may uh, deal with that when they uh, when we get to input boxes and then uh, I'm going to save my place by going to here title title is going to be let's see press enter to continue enter we're just going to call it a certain name uh, enter now I have my first F5 see enter is the new title so you can really customize this and then I click on OK to continue and really it says OK so uh, I can press OK to continue just give it a, a better message to the user press O not OJ OK and let's change enter to continue continue <clears throat> now press OK to continue and here I'm gonna substitute out I'm gonna make it a little more clearer by putting the single quotation marks I want to differentiate that between the double press OK to continue uh, okay now since this is public uh, note that well I can I can go ahead if I want to I can go ahead and put this onto a my worksheet. So the way to go about doing that is I go to the worksheet, go down, go down to the bottom of your screen, you see the uh, Excel worksheet, and now I want to add it to a. I right click, and now I'm getting my forms buttons. Drag that up a bit. I take this button right here go ahead and click on the screen and button 3 click I'm assigning a macro and my thing just pops up the assign macro button going ahead and new message remember that new message okay and then I'm going ahead and clicking on this here button bang uh, press ok to continue and then I'm getting rid of all this stuff. Now I just can customize this button. And that's all you have it. And so you could use this. And uh, we can activate it from our worksheet. Bang. Press OK to continue. Press OK to continue. Thanks for watching. And make sure that you subscribe or give me your question. And I'll be happy to answer it. Thanks, bye.